Hey everyone, my name is Darren Atkins. The online tech tool I want to demonstrate today is called Animoto. Animoto is a cloud-based video creation service that produces video photos, video clips, and music. This platform is a great resource for creating biographies, assignment instructions, vocab lessons, and much more. Animoto is easy to use. It offers a variety of templates, customization ability, and sharing options. This tool is perfect for all grade levels and is a perfect way for students and staff to showcase technology in the classroom. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do on Animoto is either create your own account or log in with your Google account. Once you're logged in, you're going to get redirected to the dashboard. You can see at the top right, you're going to have my account with your videos, help options, um, and account settings. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll see that there's template options you can select about us, education, narrative, and slideshow. So what we'll do is an about us for today, this is a great one to start with if a teacher has new students in the classroom or you want students to showcase maybe what they did for the summer or even for the teacher to talk about upcoming lessons and projects throughout the semester. Uh, from the template, you'll scroll down. There's different options you can select. Just for today's purpose, we'll go with self-introduction. Once you select the template, the first thing that pops up is your option to go ahead and upload photos and videos that you may have so you can start customizing. If you decide to skip that, you'll be loaded with the main template. From here, at the bottom, you'll see uh, the different thread threads that you'll have uh, throughout. You can delete those, add more, um, and increase the time. At the top, you'll see the option to save, design, add audio, and record recording options for if you wanted to talk over the pictures or video clips that you have streaming. So on the first page, what you'll do, the first template there, you'll select. On there, you have the option to actually delete the photos and text that you see. On the left-hand side, you'll see you can change the layout. So if we wanted maybe a center stage pic, uh, we can drag and drop our photos that we have saved on our desktop. You can also change the color of the background. So if you want to change it to blue, purple, orange. Below that, you have the text. So you have the option to input your own text or select from text layouts. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and select one, we can add that text option there. We can double click. From there, we'll put interactive. Change the font color. Okay. Also add accent color underneath and the size. At the very bottom, you'll see that you can also increase or decrease the amount of time you want that template to be displayed and move on to the next one. Like I said, this option is really great. It's easy to use for students as far as being able to drag and drop photos at the different text options that are available for you. Thanks for tuning in to my blog. Hope you stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.